Hey everyone, welcome back to Fashion Design with Hannah. Today we'll be doing something a little bit cute, a little bit sustainable, and a little bit Halloween-y. That all wrapped up into one is a rockin' denim vest for my dog Klondike. I'm using denim jean scraps from a friend's project from my FIT years, so I've been holding on to this denim for a little bit of time. But my dog loves wearing stuff. He's a little shih tzu, he's super cute, but he can be quite a bit of a punk. So I want to make him a little bit of a Halloween costume that reflects that. I have this draft. This is the first fit of the vest that I made for Klondike. He's my little buddy. I first drafted this out by measuring about what his neck width is and then what I'd want for center back to go with that and then the straps to go underneath him. These are all just estimates and then I looked up what a general dog vest would look like and I just drafted from there. Now when I initially drafted this I didn't have any sample reference in real life so I tried it on and then I made some adjustments as you can see here, I want to extend this a little bit more. It fit around his neck really well, but almost too well. So I want to add a little bit more for a closure extension. I will probably be doing the denim shank button that comes on the fly of pants, while most dog clothes come with the Velcro closure. I also then decided to bring it out a little bit more as uh, we now have a cute little jacket for Klondike and I compared the shape of the necklines and I liked theirs a little bit more. I just tried this out. We'll see how it goes. It's just going to go into second fit. This right here goes around his front leg and it came a little bit close. I left these giant seam allowances for the first fit uh, just so I could do a proper first draft and from that I noticed that this came a little bit close to his front leg right behind it. So I'm just bringing it back a little bit. And then down here at the bottom, I also noticed that it's a little bit long from neck to tail. So I'm bringing that back a little bit as well. So I'm gonna make a second draft from those changes and then make another muslin and go from there. So I have a friend from FIT and she gave me all of these denim booties. She is into sustainability as well and uh, she had taken the legs off of all of these old denim pants from herself, her sisters, and I think some thrifted as well. And she knew that I like to be sustainable as well in my designs, so she just started giving me all of them since I asked for denim. Decided to take them and I have been holding on to them ever since. So I have side legs, I have full booties, I have full waist, I have just fronts. This one is my favorite because it is a more washed out denim. Um, I also love the stitching details along here. The pocket I want to go on the back so that way maybe it could be a treat pocket or just something to put some cute things on here. I might put a few pins as well. And I feel like the logo makes it look a lot more like a ha ha funny human vest put on a dog joke but it'll make it look a little bit more legitimate. Now I want to be as sustainable as possible so I'm going to try and use as much of each piece of denim that I have as possible. I know that the dog vest is an odd shape so it's going to be patchwork. My draft that I have is just for general shape and I'm going to break it up from there once I like it. Once I like the fit of the muslin draft that I have I'm going to break it up into pieces that I can then put the denim into. So this is obviously going to be the main back piece that I have, but I might try and use the waistband as the collar. And I do still want a strap for uh, his collar. And I do still want a strap for his leash to be attached to because I'd love it if we could walk him around in this. We don't have to put on the separate harness. And then for the front closure, I really want to use this denim shank button if I can. However, my machine is a home machine. It's not an industrial machine. And the feed dogs that feed the underneath part of the fabric aren't very strong, so they don't move thick fabrics as well. 
I do have a denim needle, so hopefully that will help. Um, but yeah, I want this to be the front and hopefully I can use another waistband from a different pair of pants to use for the straps that go underneath his body. I decided to scratch the look of a strap underneath his stomach because I feel like the true vest on a dog is a little bit more adorable and continues the joke of a human vest on a dog. So we're going with that and I know he'll be comfortable with it. I then had to create a new initial draft for a vest for Klondike to try out for an initial fit and then I cut that out and start it all over again. All right, so if you see here, this is what we've ended up with after his first fitting. And I've marked where I've adjusted it. I eventually gave up and just put a dart in here so I could change around the extra fabric shape I did not like in the back. So I marked that off as well, just with pencil. I marked the seam here. So I'm going to be seam ripping this apart and then tracing it over onto paper. With the new final draft ready, I then had to look at what sort of seaming I needed to do for what would go with the denim. So this back piece here would probably fit, but I know I'd be pushing it for the seam allowance. The hem band, the yokes, and the other panels would definitely have to be on separate denim cuts. It's just a matter of how many different ones I would need. I had my own darker denim jeans that I had been stashing away for similar purposes. And I know it's darker than the light wash one, but I feel like I can make it work. Then I moved on to the most difficult part, which is all the planning. I would suggest having a choco liner to help you plan things out as this will take a bit. And you'll see that I seam ripped this off so it can have more fabric space last night. And then I also started seam ripping the waistband off so I can use that as a collar. We'll see once I have the body how the collar is going to work out. For now, I just want to start patterning everything else and we'll go from there. Ta-da! The first layout of the fabric. So this is covering half of one of the cutouts and then I'm using another pair of jeans for doing a few of the pieces. The hem band doesn't quite fit over here though on the main piece of denim so I'm going to have to do it probably along the back of the other pair of pants so somewhere around here. And here we have all the cutouts. Here's my scrap pile. This is one I will be throwing away. And here is my other scrap pile. Those I will be just keeping for other scraps. I'm still going to take off the rest of the waistband later once I have this all put together and have tried it on the quantity. Well, let's get to the sewing. Thank you. 
Hey everyone, so this is day whatever, meaning I am no longer keeping track of how many days I'm putting into this because it's taking a while. Sustainability takes a while and if I can put in a good six to seven hours today, I think I can finish it. Most of my time is being spent towards seam ripping and planning. And seam ripping definitely takes a while on well-made denim because they typically go over stitches multiple times to keep it together longer. So that is really fun. So I have my glasses on so I can just work away without my contacts drying out. And I think this will be all good. So let's get to it. I'm very lucky in the sense that the first fit in denim went pretty well. So now I'm going to add the hemband. Just know that I will be doing a hemband attachment tutorial in a future video. It'll be the professional attachment method that I learned while I was at FIT. And here he is looking even more cute in a more finished vest. So I'm just marking the placement to see if it's good for the center front and then I'm going to add the buttonholes. With the buttonholes done, I then added the convenient four shank buttons that I had on another pair of jeans. And yes, you can certainly add them at home. This project definitely exceeded my expectations in adorableness and I would recommend. I hope this brightened up your day because I know it certainly brightened up mine and with the dumpster fire that 2020 is, I think we could all use a little bit of cuteness. If you are new here and you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Comment below on some fun pet costumes that you've seen, whether it be this year or previous years, and let's have some nice, cute, fuzzy warmth to all enjoy. And for now, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!